Here's a useful circuit. It's called a voltage tripler. All you really need are three capacitors and three diodes and an AC power source. I'd recommend, uh, if you want to do this, use a step-down transformer the first time just so you get a handle for it before you start really going high with the voltages. Anyway, so what it does is it takes voltage peak, so here's a sine wave. and it takes the voltage from here to here and it triples it. So I'm going to show you that with the oscilloscope and an actual circuit. Okay, so here's the actual circuit. This is a step-down transformer. It takes 120 volts RMS down to 12 volts RMS, which is roughly 17 volts peak. And that comes in here. I have a fuse in series with the circuit so I don't damage the transformer or anything and here are the capacitors and the diodes in the configuration I showed you on the page now I have the oscilloscope hooked in here to measure the waveform coming in so you can see the voltage peak okay currently there is no power applied to the circuit let me just turn up the intensity so you can see that line a little better and let me just make sure that's on ground. Okay, we're good. So now I'm going to apply power. Okay, so I have the scope set for 5 volts per division. So if we count the divisions vertically here, 1, 2, 3, 3. So roughly 3.3 divisions, so 5 times 3.3, and that's equal to 16.5 volts. So, now, since I can't really measure DC too well with the voltage I'm getting on the output, I'm going to have to show you with the DMM. So the location of where I'm going to be measuring the voltage is here, on this side of this capacitor, C1, and on the negative of C3. So, red lead here, black lead here. Okay. And this voltage is going to be pretty high, so I'm going to be careful where I put my leads here. And my hands. So, here's the voltage. It is roughly 49 volts DC. So if we take that voltage peak I measured and multiply it by 3, we should come out to approximately the same value, the 49 volts. So 16.5 times 3. And that is equal to 49.5. So, there you go. It works. Now, here's something interesting. So if you're not getting a high enough voltage with the voltage tripler, you can just make it a voltage quadrupler by adding another capacitor and another diode. So let's do that. So I have turned off the AC power, but in all likelihood these capacitors still have a pretty high voltage in them. So I just want to make sure that they are... Oh. Yeah, so it's still a little high. Now, you can just short out the capacitors with a piece of metal and drain them that way, but I prefer to use a resistor. This is a 200 ohm resistor, and it is bent lead, so they'll work well to short out these capacitors. Okay, let's see what the voltage is now. and it's down to one volt DC so that's a nice safe level to work with okay so that has been added to the circuit now I'm going to apply power again and I'll measure the voltage across all of the capacitors I will be measuring the voltage from this capacitor to 
this capacitor. So black lead here, red lead here. Okay, so I'm going to apply power and measure the voltage. And the voltage is now 64.7 volts DC. And if we use that calculation again of 16.5 times 4, it comes out to 66 volts. So, not too bad. So you can continue to add more diodes and capacitors to step it up even farther, but something to keep in mind is it will increase the current draw of the transformer, so you will need to keep that in mind, as I just stated. And also something to keep in mind is you should get some diodes with a high inverse peak voltage rating. Otherwise you're going to have a diode fail and you don't want that. So thanks for watching and I hope this was useful.